Good? When we're on. Okay, so um, you guys have made uh, individual corrections to the walk. Um, but we learned today how to step into that first pose, which is both of your first pose. Okay, so far it's all almost the same routine. We'll do a little bit of different arm work for Tina. Okay, so when you walk out, I want you to look at the judges once, smile at them, and then look at where you're going. If you decided to go with this, you step forward, right arm on hip, step back, left arm circle, okay, for Ariel. And for Tina, it's the same, but with step forward, double arm, step back, right arm, right arm on hip, and then left arm one more time circle. Okay, so now we're here. In this pose, Lock your left knee. Both of you gotta push back a little bit more. We're gonna really make sure you get that curve. Um, you know, you're you're almost there most times, but then I can still push you back like an inch. Okay, and for you, almost there. Lock this left knee really hard and push back. Okay, belly button staying to the right. Uh, deep arch in the lower back. All the way from the left heel. The right heel is elevated. For Ariel, I will have you twisting towards the back a little bit. For you, Tina, straight forward at uh, three o'clock. Right hand is on hip. Uh, both of you guys are doing that really good. For Ariel, chest needs to be more up. Rip cage, ex expand the chest and rip cage up. And then for Ariel, make sure you twist your, your hand to the left a little bit, cock your wrist up a little bit, and then feather your fingertips like this, okay? And thumb down, okay? Here we go, and then in this pose, you're gonna hold for four seconds. Once you get into it, it's like this. And you're gonna smile at the middle judge, smile to the left, to the right, back to the middle, and little head nod, chin up, and down, okay? Now, next step is the T-pose. We decided stepping back was the best. For you, stepping back, locking the right knee, the right foot is at three o'clock, turning the left knee into a forward. My feet um, didn't move too much. I took a small step back and just turned the left knee into a forward. This is the T-pose, all my weight's on the right heel. I'm dropping this right hip back so I can curve, I uh, have more of an arch in my lower back and pop my up, so I can have this hourglass shape. Okay, push back, sit back on it. Okay, now left knee is bent, left heel is elevated. Everything in the upper body is the same. Belly buttons to the right, right hand on hip. This arm is straight, locked, no elbow, no, no this. Okay, just relax, dead arm. Now, this pose, don't hold for, for like three seconds. One, two, three. And then you're gonna transition. So we decided that this transition was best, turning the left foot, stepping on the left foot, locking that left knee, turning the right knee to the back and heel, and so all the way back to the top, lifting up the left, the right heel, and pushing all the way back on this left leg. Um, right hand stays on the hip, and you can pull it back. Um, the left arm is going to do an arm circle forward, but we just barely got to that, so it's going to look like this here. Left arm circle, and put this on your uh, thigh. Now, you can also play around with if you like it better, hand down, that also looks nice. Uh, or this also looks nice too. The other thing you can do with your arm to work ahead a little bit is if you don't want to do an arm circle forward, you can just drag, drag your hand on the floor like this. Keep, you can keep it low. Keep it low or arm circle, okay? For personal preference. That's where the variations come in. That's where like, oh, this one looks a little different than this one. Okay, and in this pose, make sure you're gonna make eye contact or look down here, but you're gonna only be able to see the judges over there, not the one right, right in front of you. So right here's a sexy look, right? So you're gonna practice in the mirror. It's your homework. What's your sexy face gonna be? You can at least smile, okay? Or you can go open up, or you can look down and just um, look down and like bat your eye, or you can look down and do an open knot, or you can do duck duck lips, or I think I do that, <laughs> or eyebrow up, eyebrow up. So right there, we're gonna play around and bring your personality out. It's gonna be a little bit more sex appeal. Okay, now I'll do it. Keep filming without talking, so you can see the speed of it. Four seconds, three seconds. This transition is about 
two to three seconds. One, so first time, one, two, three, four. Second one, one, two, three. Next one, one, two, three. Move, it's fast. It's pretty fast. Good job.